everyone, I'm Lynn, and today I'm going to talk about the J&J &J shot. So hopefully we read between the lines here because I'm trying to say it without actually saying it and getting flagged here. So back to the question, J&J &J beer bug shot. Now the CDC is advising against the J&J &J shot due to the risk of clots. All the shots have risk. People are joking that maybe J&J &J didn't pay enough. And is this really due to the risks or as usual something else that other version of shots modify that J&J &J does not. So they're against it. What is the real agenda here? And that's what everybody's trying to figure out. What are the agendas behind all of these things at play right now? And when I focused on this, I get the real issue is that J Company, we all know who that is, I hope. If not, send me a message. I'll fill you in. Went rogue. They didn't follow the protocol of what the other mainstream shots offer and what they do to a person. They thought if they offered an alternative, they would have and give people more options. Those options would set them apart, creating higher profits. And when the J company went more traditional in their approach with the immune system version versus the modifying parts that the other shots offer, they felt they could gain confidence in the public eye and become a popular choice. They wanted to go more traditional route of what people were used to and thought, hey, if we offer people this versus this new great and, date, great and wonderful modified version of something else that people would trust what they're used to and possibly go the route of the J Company's offering. This did not bode well with the powers that were, not only due to the PTW wanting to have people modified, they don't want competition against what they are attempting to accomplish. Historically, when a competitor merges against a power-hungry giant, they are squashed. This is no exception here. In some regards, you either work with them or you're against them. Even though J Company is big, they still cannot compete with the PTW. So sadly, the PTW, they basically control everything at the top. It's an illusion that it's not a monopoly, but the reality is they dictate what gets released and what does not. This isn't about the money as much and that they didn't pay. It's more about rivaling their agenda. The PTW have been trying to shut J Company down for a while. And now that they're finally able to push enough fear out there to make people question it, they're starting to achieve their goal here. This overall is a very sad thing that's sweeping over the planet. People have to navigate through the fear, ask critical questions, and do what feels right for themselves. We all have this internal filter of we know what is right or not. So run everything through that. See what, what your compass is telling you to do and listen to it. It will not steer you wrong. And that's all I have for this reading. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment, like, and share my videos. It helps me out so much. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.